Guest services. Can I help you, sir? Well, if you need anything, we're only a call away. Hello, hello. Jumping into GTA. Ahem, turn around, do. Jumping into GTA for a quick session here. Just a quick morning spin at the casino and perhaps a sale or two. Won't take long, I promise. Won't take long at all. like another new car at the wheel. It must have been back on Thursday or so that it changed, but I haven't been in in a while. So I'm hoping we have a spin available. Hope it's Taffy, hope it's Taffy. Wait, there's no Taffy Field. Okay. Yeah. No, I'll take a car. Woo! That's nice. Okay. I now own a yellow uh, racing vehicle. That I'm sure will be lots of fun. In fact, let's go check it out. See if we can get someone to drop it off. I believe I put it at the Alta Street apartment. That's what I will need to keep in mind, as I do not know the name of the vehicle in question. It looked like an ocelot something, but I'm not sure if I'm just making that up. So I don't know if it has been delivered yet. I may need to wait until I get another text notification here. But let's check. You're through to your garage. You, uh, need me to bring you a ride? A GTO. That I'll must be what it is. I'll get there as soon as I can. Let's see if this one looks right. Get out of here, Lester. Nobody has time for your constant phone calls. I'm sorry. That was rude, Lester. I do have time for your phone calls. It's just the interest to see where we're, we're having a bit of a deficit problem. All right. So this is my fancy, fancy new Grotti Itali GTO sports car. I'm super excited about it. Where do I... Excuse me. Where do I have a mechanic who will uh, allow me to customize it? Let's head deeper into the city rather than off to the industrial zone mechanic. We'll go downtown. Things will be great. When you're downtown, everyone's wait. Team for you. <sighs> These famous songs got away with a lot, didn't they? All right. Let's go in the back way. The sneaky, sneaky back way that no one suspects. Oh. Someone suspected. There. We made it. What's wrong with her now? Oh, nothing's wrong with her. I just wanted to come show off. Alright. Let's get those those sweet upgrades in play. There it is. Alright. Engine tuning. We need transmission. Yes, we need turbo. Yes. That's probably all. Now, what about this livery? Is this a rare, or can I replace it anytime I need to? I think I could replace it if needed. In which case, goodbye. Let's get a clean situation. 
Oh, I do like those little square mirrors. Those are cute. But yeah, primary. Vanity license plates? Just to show off my vanity. You know how it goes. Alright, so mandatory strip. No strip. Strip with fins. Strip with sideways fins. Strip with a scoop. So it must always be... Secondary? Even if it's the double? <laughs> That's kind of weird. I'm just going to go uh, primary for now. Keep it simple. I don't really need a skirt at the moment. Thank you, though. I like that discreet spoiler. Just spoils it a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Suspension? No, that's fine. I'm already scraping the bottom as much as I need to be. You know me. I'm always out here scraping bottom. I'm gonna leave wheels for now. Let's check bumpers and hoods. Nope. Nope. Well, I just, just hate all of that. No, thank you. That's kind of neat. But also a little flimsy looking on the sides. Like a dolphin is flimsy looking on the sides. You know. Ah, oh, the triple. That is... That is hard to beat. Hard to beat a triple. Especially when you're talking about the Istanbul Express. I mean, nobody even orders a double, really. Oh. Strangely spinal. I like it. I like driving a corset. That's my jam. I think I'm just going to go for a nice, simple vent remove situation. Alright, and finally, a respray to a primary metallic black with a pearlescent uh, ice white. There you go. And let me take a look at this custom wheel. This custom wheel is bugging me. Tire design. Okay, you have to have custom. High end. Mm -hmm. None of these are really screaming at me is a great choice. Perhaps just... This and black. There you go. And that did remove the, the custom tire thing. I don't like those words on my tires. No, no. No, thank you. Yeah, that should be fine. Now it's just... Unrecognizable is all. I've taken it, and I've ruined everything special and unique about it. Oh, that is quite fast with those engine upgrades. I'm a fan. Definitely a fan. Okay, now I gotta find an apartment to put this in. Let's go this way. Excuse me. Sorry, I was looking at the map. That's my bad. Let's throw it back in this one. I believe this is Alta Street. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. Where did this come from? This is where I end up putting a lot of my podium vehicles. My, my rare podium vehicles. So I'm assuming this was also a podium vehicle that I must have spun for. Otherwise, I, uh... Well, I need to review some footage. No idea where that would come from. Yes, this is a customized online character. It's not one of the default single-player guys or anything like that. So yes, it's all my fault. Whatever you're seeing, you can blame me. <laughs> Alright, now that we've got that little bit of business out of the way, spinning and winning, done and dusted. Oh, oh, wait for the opportunity. There we go. <laughs> it's the worst, worst opportunity. Okay, I think I just did a sale last time I was in here of the uh, nightclub stock. I don't believe anything will be out there, and I think I left the bunker empty intentionally so that we could uh, do some resupplies next time we came in. This may be the time for that. Let me go ahead and call in another uh, vehicle, however. It's going to take us a while to get out of the bunker in this. My apologies. Playing bumper cars. Alright. So let's just see if we can do a couple of resupplies here. And then I will be done. I, I promise. No more secret episodes. Peaceful night, it seems to be. Stars just peeking. Shy moon hiding itself away behind the thick cloud covering. The wind whistling through my demonic rocket bike. Let's see what we get on the old random mission spinner. Is it going to be great? Is it going to be terrible? Is it going to be possible? Is it going to be passable? I have so many questions. Oh, you've been waiting for Peter GTA all week? I'm so sorry. I've been making you exercise some sort of patience and or... I don't even know what. Sort of emotional self-harm, in a way. I'm so sorry. I'm finally here for you, in your time of need. All right. Bestow upon me all the great laudations of a CEO, do. Perfect. So we are all empty, ready to steal supplies. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do five of these in a row, or how long that may take to, uh, to explore that thing we were talking about last time, that maybe you need to do five of these in a single session in order to unlock the alien egg. I don't know if we'll have time for that, but I'll try. We'll see where we go. Altruist camp, that's a great one. I think that one is usually just pick up a box and get back on the hover bike. It's always a toss-up if they're going to switch you into a vehicle of their choosing or not. Like, ah, oh, the supplies are in a rusty van that you now need to drive 50 miles. But the rare ones where they just let you grab something and then say, get back on a rocket bike, oh, good stuff. A 
just slip through this little canyon here. Bullseyeing womp rats in our T-16. No, I don't think that's a part of it, actually. Now that I think, think further. Okay. Let me get this kicked off. There, yep, and there are the supplies. So now I just need to get down here. Gonna make a real man out of you. What? No, don't. Don't do that. Oh, a mess out of me. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you can make a mess out of me. Just don't make a man out of me. Whatever you do, I'm begging. Alright. As advertised, sneaky sneaky, grab the box, get out of there on a rocket bike. So that's one. Making good time. Well, I should say in about 40 seconds it will be one, and we will have been made good time of, and on, and for, and thusly. I'm, I'm out. I'm out of words. I don't... I don't know anymore. Classic glitched out entryway. All right, let's start another. I do believe the one nice thing about bunker sales is that they let you do them until the bar is full, regardless of time. Of course, having said that, now I will jump in here to realize that's not true at all. Let's double check. Lovely. Most things just seem to, uh... So sorry. Fixing the chat there. Most things, um... <laughs> I've completely lost it. No, it's, it's, it's out of my head. You know what? We're I don't know what I was just saying. I'm so sorry. Do pardon me and my sieve brain. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe it won't. Who knows? All right, calling this back in. Oh yeah, that's all I was saying, is that when you do like a nightclub resupply or something weird like that, a promotion, it, you get back there and you're like, all right, now let's do another one. And it's like, oh, you gotta wait five minutes before you can do another promotion mission. And it's just seemingly unnecessary. Like, yeah, I still have space in my supply. Let me go do another one. So the bunker does let you do that and has no time out or whatever that is. Which makes the bunker unique and special. Daddy's favorite big boy. Aw. Aw, that sounded... Aw. My mouth is sad now. Somehow salty? What? How is it? So we are headed to the L.S. River. One of my favorite spots to be. Certainly not in real life. Oh goodness, not in real life. But here, this one's great. Very low tetanus risk on the digital river. Okay, I'm here. Now what? Enter the sewer. Well, okay. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should probably just uh, just do this the old-fashioned way. Here. Pardon me. Don't mind the smell of burning flesh. That's just normal. That's what the sewer smells like. There they are. Come on. You couldn't have just died like all of your friends. You have to be weird about it. And extend my vacation. Okay. Got the supplies. Grab a little extra ammo here. There we go. That's lovely. That is a good point. If the smell of burning flesh overpowers that of the sewers, I fear you've just got too much burning flesh on your hands. Oh, here they come. I should have parked my bike further into the pit. Don't make me shoot my own bike. That's just cruel. It's like a war crime. Mm -hmm. All right, there's two. Which is to say, in about 40 seconds, that, that will be... I gotta stop getting ahead of myself. Can there ever be too much burning flesh? Come on, guys. Let's be honest with ourselves. Hmm. No. That's my poor exposed buttocks. Stop shooting at it. Pick another target. Any other target. This won't have filled up the bar yet. Oh, not even close. It's an insult to even suggest that it might have filled up the bar. Spin up another one. Make it good. Make it easy and quick. Having said that, of course, this will have jinxed it. This is the jinx round. Strap in. Okay. Great Ocean Highway. What would that one be? I have no... no ready recollection of it. Which is fantastic. It's a rare thing. Just skirt up over this mountain. Easy does it. Don't want to anger the mountain. Just 
So what is it you want me to do here? What's the dealio? Ah, it's one of these. One of the rusty van situations. Okay. It's not a terrible spot for it. Just have to skirt along the side highway. Man, the GPS wants you to go on the dirt road, which takes you down by the river and is very, very difficult, even in a good car, to stay out of the river near. I'm not going to follow the GPS at all. I'm going to go over to this side highway. Oh, there's guys. That's a shame. Eh. Sorry about your classic car. not help me. I'm trying to remember the rear view mirror control. I got myself into some trouble. It's one of those tricky situations because the van is quite tough, but eventually it will burst into flame if they keep shooting at you. So you have to decide if you want to trust that the van will make it or if you want to stop and fight along the way. Typically, my, my idea is to start going at a speed at which they, they can't keep up with me. But with this van and that rear-view mirror accident, uh, it's not looking likely. Let's try to lose them in the oncoming. Risky. That did something. But they're catching up again now. So here's that side highway I'm looking for. This seems to be a much better way back, in my opinion. Especially on two wheels. Good old oncoming. That usually does the trick. perfect example of that. Oh, it takes a while when they make you switch cars. I miss you, rocket bike. Ah, I never expect them to appear directly before me like that. Which I should. That's what they always do. Ah, oh, that, is, that is quite a distance that they can shoot me perfectly through the trees through. Pardon me. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Now, you enjoy your family vacation. Thank you for the help. You were a little late. But I appreciate the hug you gave me against the guardrail there. That was that was tight. Hold on, guys. Let's talk about this. Watch your ankles. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that for? That's no way to merge. Ah, 
Come on now. Just a little further. Give up the chase, boys. Alright. Whew. Yeah, for this particular one, the van itself is the supplies in that regard. So sadly, I couldn't switch to one of their their cars, though that would have been nice. I think there's... you could uh, grab like a Cargo Bob helicopter and potentially uh, airdrop it. it would be an easier way. Or it just expects you to have more people in your posse that will be fending off those guys as you drive the van unscathed. It did, however, usually when it's like a grab a box and head back, it's a very small amount of supplies. When they make you get in a vehicle and bring the supplies back, it's like a huge chunk. So you see my bar has jumped up almost to full now. And that was three, if I've been counting correctly. This will be four. Let's try it. Still making good time. And this is an awful lot of fun. Thank you for hanging out with me. Okay, because they give you that gun pickup truck, I think this is a helicopter mission. And it should be the closer one, too, rather than the Humane Labs helicopter mission. So this should be a very easy blow up a helicopter, grab a box, head back, and then we'll be on to number five. Oh, let's get low. Get some of that Alamo Sea Breeze. Mmm, smells of algae and dead fish. I like it. Sounds like being hugged by a sea captain. Arr, cigars and fish. That be my general aroma. Hey now, let's not perfectly dodge my missiles due to the angle of incidence here. And it's this guy. It's always been this guy. Ever since the beginning. Just a little parachute of supplies. I think that's the cutest thing ever. Well, I mean, there is Grumpy Cat. But then second to Grumpy Cat. These cute little parachute supplies. Come on. Alright, get your last whiff in. We're heading out. I hit the only pole in the area. Sorry about that, Pole. The Pole was also perfectly stationary, if you were curious. Very easy to avoid. I didn't even need you, pickup truck. Oh, how does that feel? Not good, I bet. Not good at all. Yes, that was the mystery pole. <laughs> I should take a little screenshot of it. I'll need to think up some new mystery pole uh, ideas. So that was four. This should be number five. I still have the tiniest little uh, notch in my supply belt there. Ready to fill. Let's try it.
Our readings indicate a large stockpile of... Elysian Island, all right. So we gotta go find it on a cargo ship down at the industrial docks. Pretty much all the way across the map, but that's fine. That will give us time to catch up. I see we have a, a question in the chat here. What is the last book I read that I really enjoyed? Whether it was a week or a decade ago? That was a very generous question. For which I am grateful. Ah, uh, the last book I, I was reading uh, about a month ago or so is called The Better Angels of Our Nature. And I'm completely forgetting the author. I'm peeking over my shoulder to see if I can cheat, and uh, I, I, it's not its not inside. Oh, well. But yeah, The Better Angels of Our Nature, I believe, was the title. It was something that I think Bill Gates had recommended on, on Reddit or something a while back. It's about trends in humanity and the, the trend towards non-violence being sort of a, an unstoppable force of the human experience. That pretty much no matter how hard we try, we will not uh, we will not make ourselves a violent people. It's not in our nature. It's a very very interesting book to see some some cold logical statistics that sort of back up that rather lofty idealistic goal. And so I believe that is what I was last reading. But I, I set it down. I have not finished it. I was about halfway through. I set it down, and it's been several months. I need to return. Alright, so we're looking to get close enough, there they are, to the supplies, that we grab them and leave. And that's just as simple as it is. When you have a rocket bike, it makes things pretty simple. Normally, you'd have to go park there in the parking garage, get out with silenced weapons, and a team of trained gentlemen sweep the entire ship for the uh, supplies in question. Yes, Steven Pinker. I do believe that is the author. That is, rings a bell, for sure. Hmm. Let's see, my, uh... <laughs> My chat has ended. Let me switch this to one hand. We'll try not to crash, and I will refresh this. Old one-handed rocket bike. Gotta love it. I hope that is still going. I'm sorry, I just lost the chat history on the refresh, but I hope I'm still with you. Do let me know if that's not the case. Though, how would you know, if that's not the case? So that is definitely the, the book in question, to keep jumping back to subjects, is not a recreational, fictional read, necessarily, which is usually what I, what I read. I don't want to give you the impression that I'm over here thumbing through the New Yorker and, and whatnot. Usually I'm reading, oh, you know, How to Train Your Dragon books. But that just happened to be my, my most recent tome. You hear and see me. You see my very person. You see inside my home. I'm too scared to move. When are you gonna... When are you gonna burst out and strike me? When are you gonna burst out and strike the piñata? I... Somehow, for the first time in several decades, I don't feel alone. I'm terrified. Okay, so I do believe that was the fifth. Which means, if the person online is lying, <laughs> nothing will happen. If the person online is not lying, I should wait until 2100 hours 
and then uh, and then perform another resupply here. It seems like a long time to wait when you're looking at the the minutes pass by, but then any time I get distracted doing some other activity and look back, it's been three days and I've missed it. So we'll have to try to find a, a happy middle ground here somehow. I'll keep looking at my, my wristwatch. You glitched through me, looking at my eyeball textures from inside of my skull. I hope you can also see my tongue and teeth in that case. Because otherwise, what's the point? It's one of my favorite things about video games. Glitching the camera inside NPC heads to see their eyeballs and tongues and teeth. That's a normal thing, right? That's a normal thing people say and do. That's not weird. <laughs> oh. Oh, the time. So we really should find uh, some other way to distract ourselves until 2100 hours here. Let's go back outside briefly. Leave the gentlemen to their work. And so obviously there's still a couple of ways this could go. This may be true, but it may not result in the alien egg because I have not yet hit 600 resupplies. It may not be true. And I, I don't actually need to do five in a single session before it unlocks. I may just need to get to 600 regardless. So we'll see what happens. Not necessarily expecting fireworks, but oh boy, I would, I would be excited. If there were somehow secret random fireworks. Quote unquote. So again, just wasting a bit of time here. See if we can find anything to catch our interest. Good old biker gang, hanging out, sitting on their outdoor couches, just enjoying the day. There's been a lot of uh, discussion lately online on the, the Chiliad Mystery Forum and such about this movie poster. Now that it is in real life, the year 2020, there is this rather strange uh, poster over here. Oh, my, my arcade safe is full. I will need to go remedy that. Let me see. I think it's on the other side of the uh, windmills from here. 1,600 hours? Do a quick buzz on the wind farm. Yeah, so on the other side of the wind farm hill, there's another little trailer park behind the cute purple dinosaur. If you were curious, cute purple dinosaur eating a hot dog with mustard. There's this trailer park. And on one of these trailers, there is a movie poster. Hey now, let's not cause trouble. This is a gang attack. So they're trying to get angry at me. I'm trying to stop that from happening. So there's that poster there, Los Santos 2020, with the alien on it. It has been getting some attention online, as it is now 2020. It seems to be like a movie in the universe, Los Santos 2020. And it obviously has something to do with a, an invasion of some sort, alien invasion. So people have been speculating that it may be some vague clue to a, a planned 2020 update that will actually tie some of these mystery pieces together. Of course, that's what everyone's been saying for seven years now, so, you know, grain of salt and all that, but it is an interesting poster. 
and an interesting year that we live in. Sun is just starting to peak downwards. We're at 1700 hours here. Making our way in the world today. I've been peeking around through various tunnels out here in the uh, in the wilderness lately. Fairly thoroughly searched most uh, areas of note. But there's a lot of just large grassy plains and trees and forests and things that are kind of hard to search. Especially in wheeled vehicles. So I've been trying to, anytime I see something that catches my eye, like, ooh, what's up this little, this little path off the road? Is there anything here? No, just trees? Oh, what's on the other side? There's a storm drain, and it, it exits there. Is there anything written on it? No. I, of course, haven't found anything yet. Just been wasting a whole lot of time. But when you've got a rocket bike and a whole lot of time on your hands, what better way is there, really? There's a little cave I keep looking for that it was used for one of the serial killer quests that actually gave you... It was just when Red Dead 2 was coming out. They had a special promotional event in this that was like, Red Dead 2 is coming out. Follow all these clues and find an Old West revolver. Sort of situation. And one of the clues led you to a cave that I think I thought was on this mountain. Or maybe that mountain. One of the, uh, you know, western lower mountains. Not, not up here, but either this one or this one. There's a cave near a tree that, like, a corpse was in that held one of the clues for that. And I have not been able to find that cave or tree again since. And I have no idea what my problem is. I've been looking and looking. I'm fairly certain it's that mountain, like the lowest western mountain. But I don't know. This is where the vineyard is. Which takes up most of the mountain on this side. And it definitely wasn't anywhere near the vineyard. It was like a big open area. It was something kind of like this, that there was like a valley and then one tree, and somewhere near that tree there was a wall with a cave. It looked very, very similar to this, but is not this. I don't believe. Now, there's the cave. That, that is absolutely it. Scratch that. This is what I've been looking for for like two months. There we go. So, map location. It is halfway up this river tributary here that leads down to the canoeing rafting center. So it's near the, uh, the canoe rental area. So I don't think there is anything in this cave when there isn't an active quest to create the corpse. But it is a very interesting, unique location that I wanted to come back and make sure I knew of Okay, 1,900 hours. We're getting there. So yes, that is one of the locations used in the, uh, the Red Dead. Wow, my nose does not look good. You know that game, Red Dead, wow, my nose does not look good. One of them used in that, uh, I believe it was for the double action revolver, this little, little sweetheart here. There you go. A whole explanation you did not ask for. My apologies. But we, we spent some time. I have roughly an hour and a half. 
or whatever that would be in GTA minutes. Three? Three minutes? No idea. There's that, uh, canoe rental place. You can tell because it has the little swoopy pond area on the map. Where the river gets widest. So if you're passing by this, there, there is a cave just up that, uh, long river that leads into it. I'm finally going to try to keep that in my head. Heading back to the bunker now. It's time. I've jerked your chain around long enough. Look at this! Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! I'm choking! That last part was you. But strangely, you sound a lot like me. Been working on that impression, I see. Good job. Lovely scarlet hues of sundown here in Los Santos. A familiar and welcome sight. Ah. All right. So we'll get in there in our last remaining minutes. And I will scold my staff. Staff, how dare you? You need to take more time to worry about yourselves and think less about the company. I mean, the company will always be here. We're doing fine. I'm making millions of dollars more than you at every passing moment. So if you need a sick day, or if you just don't feel like working emotionally, that's no big deal, man. Your job will be waiting for you when you're prepared for it. Now get out of my sight. I don't want to have to scold you all again. All right, we're waiting 20 minutes. Or 40 seconds. The uh, bunker, just to mention it, I'm sure you know, but just to mention it, is one of the things you can customize and add on to. I think it has, like, some different colors and light fixtures and things you can, you can throw in. I'm just using a very basic bunker myself. Twenty-one fifty-seven. And... 21. Not 2157 at all. That was... incorrect. So now it is the right time frame at night. We have done five resupplies in this session. No idea what our total count is. Let's see what becomes of this. They might mainly work government contracts, but that doesn't make Meriwether security even nearly the good guys. Not like us. You've got the green light to resupply with some rail guns. Okay. It's the rail gun at the Humane Lab. <laughs> Humane Labs research facility. Not an alien egg. Which is likely direct proof that I've done everything I can, I just don't have enough resupplies yet. It's likely, likely the problem. So that was a good test. It has not regrettably told us whether or not it's true that you need to do five sessions. I was hoping we might get lucky there. But I'll keep working on it. And until then, this has been awfully fun and lucrative. Way to resupply. Oh, yeah. I'll just get right on that here. Try to drum up a successful company 
real quick. <laughs> that would be lovely. What a lovely night to hack into a government facility and kill a bunch of folks. In the game, to clarify for the NSA. In the game, GTA. Aw, oh, I've spoken my way right out of a perfect record. I'm gonna try to use my thumb and not my lips here for just one second. It's double action revolver time! We're doing this Old West style. There we go. <laughs> Not a lot of shots. But I'm sure we don't need a lot of shots. Just one, really. Let's try the Navy revolver. Oh, they got me. I really shouldn't be in first person for this. Okay. Well, now what am I going to use? Unholy Hellbringer, you got it. Sure. I would suggest calling for some backup now. This is the time. Not Trey. Anyone but Trey. Menendez, wh why? Oh, not Franco. Huzzah! Almost there. Not that guy. Ah, oh, what a shame. What a shame you locked onto that guy. Well, third time's the charm. That's why we've got 30 minutes. Now I have to pick a new weapon. Musket. It's musket. Let's hope there's not a a large group of guys in the last room waiting for me. Oh, wait. That's all there is left. I'll just have to manage my reload times. It's going to be fine. I just need something long and sleek and woodsy in my hand, is all. What's wrong with that? Oh, oh, it's slippery. All right, reload. Give me a second, guys. Okay. All right, give me a second. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna reload here. All right, one second. I'm just gonna reload this. It's me. All right, that saved me having to do one more. Now they get to pick the weapon. Dealer's choice. Shit, it's Huntington. Huntington's hurt. 
Huntington, no. Franco Huntington Menendez, you mean? Get out of here. Oh, there's this guy. I always forget. They put one up at the top of the stairs there, which makes no sense to me, because that's like a dead end. So my brain always is like, no, you're safe, that's fine. But my brain is wrong, see. I never remember if there's a guy back there, either. You have a Franco and a Frank? That must get confusing. Oh, just got a little stunned on that one. There you go. That's the death you crave. It's called a railgun. And I can't drop it. I literally... I can't. I don't know... what's wrong, but there's no way for me to do that. There's something hilarious about them, like the police and stuff in this. They're always like, drop your weapons! It's like there's literally no... no key or control to drop your weapons. There's no... no way to do that. Characters in GTA literally have guns duct taped to their hands. All right, I think we're safe. Those helicopters aren't going to be able to catch us now. So thank you for coming with me on this experimental uh, journey here. I am still not sure if the five, five in a session is, is worthwhile, but at the very least, I think that's a good indication that we're, uh, we're still on the way to 600. I will continue to grind some of these off screen whenever I can. And we'll get there. I've been saying this for months now, but we'll get there. Thank you for your patience. Nice to hang out with you a bit here and make a little moolah, a little cash, a little oof, spondulic. You know. And, uh, and I hope I see you again soon. Me and my rail gun will be here, just hanging out. I live! Alright. We'll let this build up its stock. I will retire as CEO. No, no. No need to call me your king anymore. That's fine. I'm just one of you now. Covered in Swiss cheese holes, like. Well, like Swiss cheese. I, I sort of buried the metaphor there. Okay, I've wasted enough of your time. Thank you very, very much. I will uh, see you later here. I'll give you the old double thumbs up, and I'll hold it for just a few seconds longer than is comfortable. <laughs>